What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have official new images of AEW All Elite Wrestling Unrivaled Collection Series number three. You guys know that the other day that we did cover, like, this leaked image of the AEW Collection, the series number three with Orange Cassidy, Darby Allen, Riho, and the Young Bucks, and Pac, of course. Can't forget Pac in there. But we did cover this. There was, like, an image leaked of all of the figures in packaged, and I'll put that photo on the screen so you guys can check that out. If you guys missed that video where we covered those images, well, today, ladies and gentlemen, we have the official images that I'm very excited to get into, so let's not waste any more time and get into it. So, this set looks absolutely incredible. I think overall, it's a really good set. Let's start off with everyone's favorite, right? We gotta start off with Orange Cassidy, guys. Orange Cassidy in the package looks really, really good. You guys can see all of the different things he's gonna come with. Of course, he will come with a cloth, interchangeable or removable jean jacket, as well as t-shirt with his face on it, synonymous and notorious with Orange Cassidy. I think that this figure looks incredible. I think this is my favorite figure from the set. I think for sure I, I, I've been wanting a Orange Cassidy official. I do have my custom and everything, but I want an official of Orange Cassidy, and here it is with the AEW Unrivaled Collection. This figure looks phenomenal. I am very, very excited for it. So you guys can see he is going to come with hands that go in his pockets because it wouldn't be Orange Cassidy without that. So his hands will be able to go in his pocket. So he has the two pocket hands. He has his thumbs up hand on the right there and then he does have two mic holding hands which is really really cool to see all of that i think that the mold on these pants looks really really good it looked like the sculpt looks amazing he's got the knee pads underneath the rips there he's got even like the jogger stitching on there so the the wrinkles look great Everything going on with this is immaculate. It does look like at the bottom of his cuffs, it looks like there's articulation where the cuffs are instead of where the feet are. So the cuffs don't end. It like is the articulation point where the cuffs are at the bottom. And the shoes look amazing too, dude. The shoe sculpt looks great. The colors look great. Has a bunch of details in it. And this figure looks insane, man. I cannot wait for it. I think the quality is going to be great. The jacket looks really, really good on the figure. T-shirt looks amazing. I think the head sculpt's pretty solid as well. Uh, we don't really have an official image of the head sculpt, but I do have an image of the head sculpt that's up under the glasses that I got the other day from somebody. I can't remember who it was, but I did plug it in here. I'll plug it in here so you guys can see. It's a, sort of an off angle, and the quality's not the best, but uh, I still think the likeness is there for Orange Cassidy, and most of the time his glasses are on anyway, so there you go. You can just keep the glasses on there, but I think the head sculpt looks great anyway. The Orange Cassidy figure is absolutely immaculate, and it is my favorite in the set probably but let's move on guys let's dive into Pac so Pac is here and I like what he's got going on I think the kick pad sculpt looks amazing um I think the knee pads look great body looks great got the black wrist tape on there head sculpt and everything going on with it the steel chair looks good and everything this is our first steel chair that we're getting we've seen a table before with the ringside exclusive little bit of the bubbly the skin tones on all these look great that's another thing that we want to cover because you guys know that the skin tones got a little messed up on the first series second series they got approved upon and they look really really good here and another thing that is actually something that needs to be mentioned is when you get these young bucks you could switch the torsos with these young bucks and put them onto your uh, your Kenny Omega you could put these these torsos onto your other young bucks to fix the skin tone or something like that so that is something that you might want to do since none of them have tattoos it works out perfectly but Pac is looking really good I like the way Pac looks in package and everything you get the interchangeable head sculpt with the hair down in the face and then the, yeah, of course no hair in the face but next up guys is going to be Darby Allen Darby Allen is looking really good I think this head sculpt is phenomenal I think they did a really good job on there I don't think I have a loose figure image of Darby Allen if I do I will plug it in but what I'm looking at right here I do not have one so that is unfortunate but nonetheless I think Darby Allen looks really really good I like his skateboard like we discussed his tattoos look good the face paint looks really good and one thing that's really cool is he is the one in 500 I don't know how cool that is but he is the 1 in 500 right here, and so since he is that, he is going to have his champ, you know, attire or his body paint going on where it's like half his body there. It has all the white paint on it and stuff. I think the realism in it looks really, really good. Uh, the tights look good. The skateboard looks good. I mean, I really can't say anything else other than this Darby Allen looks phenomenal. So that is something I'm really excited about, having Darby Allen officially in the collection. Can't wait to get him in here. I'm still waiting on my Series 2 to come in, by the way, so I really need my Series 2 to come in, but Darby Allen, Orange Cassidy, and Pac all look immaculate. Um, his jacket is rubber, by the way, if you guys were 
wondering, the jacket that comes with Darby is going to be rubber. But you could you could actually put a bunch of different cloth, you know, things. We've gotten many over the years with different WWE figures and stuff that you could easily throw that over the Darby Allen if you really wanted to. But let's dive into the next figures, guys, which is going to be the Young Bucks. So we have Nick and Matt Jackson here in their, I don't even know what you'd call it. I like to call it like the Golden Elite attire or the Gold Elite. I don't know. It just reminds me, uh, I don't know. That's just what I say. Regardless, they do have their rubber accessories. I think these are rubber. I think they are confirmed to be rubber, but Matt and Nick Jackson look really good. I'm having a little bit of trouble with Matt's head sculpt. I feel like Matt's head sculpt isn't I don't know, it's like the eyes, like the eye paint around it, or like the details in there get a little bit lost, or it kind of looks a little bit off, but not the biggest deal. I still like the head sculpt with the yelling there, and you guys know that Nick Jackson, we covered him the other day, he was like grimacing in this one, he's smiling, and then for Matt, he had a straight face in his last figure, and now with this one, he is making a different expression. They also have their tights and their tassels involved in this figure, which I'm really excited about. I'm happy to have tight or not tights, but tassels on these young bucks because we didn't get them last time. I think the zebra print looks good the elite logos and everything look good on these young buck figures and you can do head swaps with them if you didn't like it you got sort of a super kick pose going on with nick and everything but overall, I really like the Young Bucks. I like the attires of these Young Bucks much better than Series 1, so I am excited about that. And I'm sure we're going to get tons and tons of Young Buck figures just because, you know, that I mean, they're one of the staples. They're one of the staples, and they're one of the most popular guys, or two of the most popular guys in all of AEW. So I'm sure their figures are going to be pumped out at a, rapid, at a rapid rate and stuff. Hopefully we can get, like, some Walmart exclusives or Target exclusives once, you know, the distribution of these figures gets up and going, and we get more sets, we get more series and stuff, and they get pumped out. Maybe we can get more and more as we go but not only do we have all of these guys but we also have our first not first female but our next female in the set which is going to be Riho and she is the one in 1000 I don't know how many images I have of her but I will put in as many as possible but she comes with a bunch of interchangeable hands she also has her white and pink attire I feel like the one in 1000 looks very very similar to the you know the regular version but her boots are slightly different her knee pads are slightly different and uh, it does look like her top is a little bit different and that's all I can really oh Okay, so the head sculpts are completely different. So one is kind of laughing and one is straight face. So that's pretty cool. And then the 1 in 1000 doesn't even come with the AEW Women's Championship. So that is something to take note of as well if you were thinking about getting that. So the one Rio, oh, yes, she does. She's wearing it around your her waist, you dumb, stupid, idiot jackass. So it does come. I was going to say that it's very weird to have one without the belt and then one with the belt when one's a Chase variant version. So both of them are going to come with the AEW Women's Championship interchangeable hands and uh overall really like the way this is oh one i don't know what's going on anyways that is pretty much the full wave of aew unrivaled collection three guys overall really enjoy the set i think it looks great i'm glad that we finally have really up close and nice official images of them from ringside instead of you know, uh, just some really crappy photo that looks like they took it with a damn toaster or something. So I'm really glad to see that we got the official images in here and they look really, really nice and everything. Can't wait to get them in here. And I actually have a Merry Christmas surprise for you guys coming up on Christmas Day. So do not have your, I know you're going to be with your family on Christmas Day, but have your bell notifications turned on and I'll probably post it. Uh, I want to say probably, I'll probably post it in the 3 to 6 p.m. Central Standard Time officially. That way um, you guys probably won't be as involved. I feel like Christmas time, like spending with your family is usually like around the morning to just after lunch. So I figure if I post it later midday, so like maybe three to seven range, I feel like I'll have more viewers around there. So just that's just a little bit of teaser for you. So stay tuned for that, guys. Hopefully everything pans out with that and everything can get going. But I think that is pretty much going to do it, guys. Before we get out of here, we do want to get into our random shout-out. So definitely, uh, let's see what we got. So this shout-out is going to go to Jay's World. He says, Grandma walks by, MDT, don't judge me, lady. Yes, Brad, because when I'm on my toy hunts, I don't want people to judge me. You know, I'm just in there enjoying life. I just want to hunt my figures in peace. I don't want you, you know, to look at me and say, you know, what's this idiot doing? So, you know, I'm working on it. Best, best case scenario. I'm doing my best here, but again, guys, Christmas Day, stay tuned, have the bell notifications on. If you don't have the bell notifications on anyway, what the hell are you even doing here, Brad? I'm just kidding. You watch me when you can, but the bell notification will be nice. That way, anytime you're not busy and my video notification pops up, you go, oh shit, that's a video notification from him. Let me go ahead and watch it right now while I'm not doing anything. But you know, anyways, huge shout out to Jay's World for that comment from the toy hunt yesterday. If you guys missed that, go check that out. I appreciate all of the AEW Unrivaled Collection 3 images. Think they look great. Let me know what your favorite is down in the comment section below, as well as checking out the MDT Rage compilation that we posted this morning. Check that out. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. And uh, don't cross over the line, Brad. I said don't cross over that. You cross the line.
I've been 